Hi everybody, been a little while since I've done a video. Um, just going to do a bit of an update and there's going to be a giveaway. So let's get started. Right, just want to start with this. Um, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a Rockwell hardness tester. Now, I was very, very lucky to get this at a ridiculously low price, um, and it works absolutely perfectly. Now, I will do like a review of this at some point, um, but basically what this does, it enables me to guarantee, sorry, to guarantee the quality of my steel um, and the hardness of my steel, so I know that my heat treats are correct, my tempering's correct, and every single knife I make from this point on, I will be testing, so that I can guarantee exactly, you know, it should be the hardness it is. So that's um, that. As you guys all know, this is uh, kind of a, a new experience for me for knife making this year. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of developing and changing and moving things around as I go. Um, I'm still working with a fairly basic kit. I haven't got a two by 72 boat grinder, which I would love, but it's out of my range at the moment. So I'm still using my four by 36 and my one by 30, but, with this one, as you can probably see, I've, I've made a few changes. I've now got myself a lovely tool rest, um, which is solidly done and made out of metal. And I'll go through this, I'll do a separate video on this as well. And I've also changed like the, the tension and things on this with little mods that I've done, um, which just make it a lot more usable, um, which is really, really good. And I've also done things like um, changing like the platen and stuff, I put a glass platen on there. Again, I'll, I'll go through this separately, but that's a, another little update I've done. Um, obviously I'm starting to make knives now that I'm gonna start selling. I, I think my quality hopefully is up to standard now. I, you know, the last thing I wanna do is to sell something and, and not be completely happy with the quality of it. Um, this one here is uh, Damascus or or whatever you want to call it you know forged welded steel if you want to be that way that's up to you um but as you can see it's my own resin handles i've made um it's tw only a 12 layer damascus but i make it all myself on my 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 homemade log splitter you know my forge press so that from that to that um and you know i'm really pleased with that one i think that one's come out well so that's one i've made to sell um, this one is one I've done recently. I know a lot of guys wanted to see this with a blade and things. As you can see, just needs final cleaning up. But this is worn up with resin and a bit of blood. Um, and this is made for someone. I'm not going to go into details, but this is like a bushcrafter style one he wanted. Now, I just want to make it clear, I'm not going to be doing kind of commissions whereby people send me pictures of knives you want and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm, uh, it doesn't interest me. And to be honest with you, with, my, with the way I am, it will just put too much pressure on me. This has been really stressful for me to do because it's not something I'm, I, I was kind of doing myself, if that makes any sense. Um, but I think it's turned out really well. I'm really pleased with it actually. And hopefully he will be as well. So that's that. I've got a couple of other blades that I'm making. I'm trying a new little design for myself which I quite like. I'm going to do some jimping on this and this is going to be more like a, more like a skinning knife really. I've been talking to people who use the, these kind of knives quite a lot and this seems to be a kind of a style that they'd like so that you know, they've got access to getting and do different things. So that's going to be a variation of the X. So that's going to be coming up, stuff like that really. So what I'll do, I'll work something out, I'll try and get a website made or something or it'll be on YouTube that I'll, I'll post or Facebook when I've got knives available, and then if you want them, we can you know look at it then. Obviously, got to be over 18. I will require proof of that as well, and I'll be using something like UPS to send those knives, and that will require an adult signature as well. So I'll be covering all the bases there, because obviously UK knife law is pretty strict um, now. As a way of saying thank you, really, to everyone that I've had, I've had support from quite a lot of people over the last several months and it's helped me quite a lot um, and I just want to say thank you um, there's no catches you know uh, I'm gonna do a giveaway um, now and I wasn't quite sure what to do really 
but I thought, well, if I'm going to do something, let's just make something a bit special. So what I'm going to do, there, is a rusty X blank. It's only because it's been in the water. That's just a blank. So this is your knife, whoever wins. And what we're going to do, right, we'll start with the basic, the basic blank like that, but I've got a load of scales down there, as you can see. So we're going to have a look at those. And you choose which scales you want. And we'll see if we can do it so you can choose the pins you want as well. Um, so let's go and have a look. Right, I cleaned that up a little bit because it was just a bit embarrassing, not very professional, is it? Showing rusty knives. All right, so that'll be your knife. And then we've got all this here. Now this is, all these um, pieces of wood, as you can see, they're, they're all stabilized with cactus juice. So they're all, all you know, in the good, good solid woods. So there, we've got a walnut, and I've sanded down one of them roughly, just so you can see what they look like. That's a nice walnut there, look. This one is U. Now, U comes out exceptionally well. You can probably see the difference in there, but that's a, a sanded piece of U. You've got walnut, you've got U. I think, now don't get me if I'm wrong, I think this is Sapili, is it? S-A-P, is it E-double-L-E? -L -L -E? Sapili, I think it, this is. But again, you know, that's a, that's a nice scale there. You've got oak, which is nice, it's up to you. Another piece of yew, which is a bit different, this one. But you can imagine, you know, with that, something like that, you know, we can we can work that out with that piece. So you've got a nice piece of yew. I think that's another piece of walnut there that's slightly different. And I think, did I show that one? I can't remember. That's coconut wood, which is really quite cool. So there's a lot of different scales there. I, I, I can't do a resin one because I haven't got much resin left and I just can't afford to buy any more at the moment. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing anything like that kind of flash. And the amount of time it takes me to do that, it, it, you'd be waiting ages. So that's the choices of, of handles you can have. Um, oh, there we go. Professional again, guys. You know what? I'm always professional. Um, and what I'll do, we can do something a bit different. You know, this is your choice. Right. Pins. So that's just brass. That's a six mil brass, but obviously that would come out looking like that. So that's what your brass would look like, which is nice. Right. You've got. I can do you something like that. Let's try and get that in focus. Don't you see that? It's like a mosaic pin type. I can do those for you if you want, and they'll come out looking something like that. I'm sure you can see. Right, or you can go a bit different if you wanted to. You've got stainless steel there, you could have that as well. Now, I'll do a lanyard hole. That'll be kind of as a standard, because that's a standard on my X's, and that'll be brass. So that's an eight mil um, lanyard hole there. It'll be either six mil if it's straight brass, or 6.5 mil um, pins if it's your mosaic. The steel is 1080 CRV2. Um, which is a cracking steel. It's not like O1, so it is a carbon steel. So you, obviously you need to research your carbon steels in regard to maintenance, because the things will get a patina or they will rust if you don't look after them. But that's down to you to look at, really. Um, and it will be tested, and you will get a certificate with that or a card with that showing exactly what Rockwell hardness it was on the back. And what I'm planning on doing with that, I don't know if you guys think it's a good idea or not. See my little logo that's a flat area i want to get as close to the blade as i can for testing ideally i'd want a bit of test on here but it's difficult on a on a on a, on a slant to test so i'm going to put i was thinking about putting a little mark in here because it will leave an indent and i thought that would look quite you know it's not going to affect the blade but i want to get it as close to the to the blade as i can to make sure i'm doing accurate so that's what it'll be um i will do a sheath it's only going to be a basic sheath it'll be something you know, like that, without this kind of creasing in which I wanted to do. Um, but it will just be a kind of a standard boat loop sheath, which I'll do as well. Um, now, I will post it anywhere, overseas, if I can, which I think I can, to, to you know, within reason. Um, and that will be at your expense if it's overseas. I can't afford to be paying for carriage for that. If it's in this country, I'll pay for the carriage I'm looking at doing it through UPS um, and that will be requiring an adult signature 
Um, as I've already stated, this is only open to the over 18s amongst us, unfortunately. And you will need to provide me proof of age. Um, and that's no, it's just not going to happen. It, no, no other way I'm doing it. That's, that's it. So that's what's going to happen. Now, the way I'm planning on doing this is that you subscribe. You've got to be a subscriber to the video. Um, you've got to like the video. I think because I think this is a format they use. I don't really know. I've done, done it before. So you subscribe, you like the video, and leave a comment. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this open for a few days. Um, I'm going to do a video of the build of the knife. So whoever wins is going to have you know. A, hopefully they're like that. It'll be like a a complete build of their knife um, along with the actual knife as well. So I'll do a build, I'll leave this open for a while, and then at the end of it, what I'll do is I'll work out some way, I'll do a random thing, I'll use an app or something, I'll figure it out. Or if any of you got any good ideas on how I can do it, just, just let me know, yeah? Um, and then that's your knife. Um, so hopefully, someone's going to be very happy. Um, and hopefully, guys, this really video hasn't dragged on too long. I'll probably shorten up a bit because I do waffle a bit. Um, and again, you know, thanks for all your support. I, I, I really do mean this. It's It means a lot. Um, this time of year isn't in, in good for a lot of people, including myself. Um, and, you know, so, so to have the support of this community has meant a hell of a lot to me. And, you know, I just want to try and give something back if I can. You know, let's hope you enjoy the ride. I've got lots more plans. I've got lots more ideas. I want to show a lot more different stuff of what I do. I'm always coming up with stupid and crazy ideas on what I can do next. And if you've got any ideas of stuff that maybe you'd like to see me make or, you know, any negative comments, you know, I mean, that's fine. If you've got something to say that you don't like, that's fine. I've got no problems with that at all. You know, it's, um, everyone's entitled to their opinion. So again, thanks very much guys. Good luck. See you right there. You're watching this and you're the winner. You've won a knife. And uh, you know, they're not cheap to make, so well done. And on that note, I'm going because I'm waffling. See you later.